All right. I think I've wasted enough of my morning sitting around listening to the music. I should probably head back to Rifton and investigate this thieves guild that apparently is running amok. What's so good about it? Seems that they're causing a bunch oh. of trouble. I'll be heading back to Cyrodiil soon. Excuse Need me? something? I will never forget just how beautiful the sky looks in Skyrim compared to Morrowind. Morrowind's just so depressing. I've only been here a short while, but yet it's a major improvement. Yes. Once Danica, what her name was, is done with the temple helping these soldiers in the Gilder Green, I believe is what it was called, is grown again and blooming. Maybe she'll help me with this dream that I had. It still just seems so unreal to me. The idea of shooting lightning out of my hands is not quite one that I've ever even entertained. Excuse me, sir. Need a ride? Uh, yes, actually. Where do you want to go? Do you mind if you take me to Riften? I know it's a little far. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Thank you. I can't wait here forever. I'm sorry. Well, I doubt anyone's gonna want to speak to me in the middle of the night. I guess we should probably go hang back out the inn that we were at before. Maybe we can just burn some time. Got the coin? You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. People of Riften, heed my words. Need something? The turn of the dragons is not mere coincidence. This is one of the signs. The signs that Lady Mara is displeased with your constant inebriation. Put down your flagons filled with your vile liquids and mm. embrace the teachings of the Handmaiden of Kine. <coughs> no, no, Marumo. We talked about this. Talon? Kirama, certainly we can come to some sort of an understanding. These people must be Good made evening. aware of the chaos they've sown. So what do you think of my plan? Of you interrupt. If you think I'd make a move like that without asking me to speak quickly. Oh, can you please Very well, doing Talon. that would be a fatal mistake. I'll remove myself from this Come den on, of iniquity. Think about it. We're not Sheet kicking reward. you out. Yes? Just keep this you fancy yourself the adventuring type. Can you leave me alone, please? It's just as well. Huh? I doubt your combat prowess would prove valuable in a real battle anyway. Yeah. What's your problem? Okay. You were trying to talk to me. Well, seems everyone's gathered here. I might be able to find oh. some information out. Need something? So, you seem very well dressed. Running a little light in the pockets, Sorry, Lord. No uh, in excuse me? Your pockets. The I you they're were a little low on coin. I can tell. Black Briar or not. I'm sorry, how could you so know that? Have you been dealing me out or something? It's all about sizing up your mark, lad. The way they walk. What they're wearing. It's a dead giveaway. Interesting. Well, what do you mean? Look how you sniffed out my little scheme at the North Gate. You knew it was a shakedown and you called him on it. That's what I'm talking about. So, you were the one that's been trying to put a tax to enter the city. Well, can you stop pushing me, whoever that was? But, uh, you seem well acquainted with wealth. Wealth is my business. Help me out, and I can add to yours. Would you like a taste? Depends. What exactly do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. What exactly am I in or for? And sir, I really don't mind you being in between our conversation. Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Uh, I exactly am I going to plant a ring on Branche? Has he done something to you? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. I'll be out in the market all day, from 8 in the morning until 8 in the evening. Meet me then. 
if you've still got the stomach for it. How am I supposed to do all this if everyone's going to be in the market? Do you want me to hold your hand as well? You're going to have to sneak over to Medesi's stall and use your lockpick on the strongbox. Then, when you have the ring, you pickpocket Branche and leave it behind. Okay. Well, guess I'll meet you in the market. I'll be at the market come morning. You better be there too. Need uh, something? Will. No. People here just really want to be open about business. Let's go sit at this table by ourselves and get away. I'm not quite tired yet, so we can just hey, hang Taylor, out. Get off your lazy tail and take care of the customer. Keep your scales on. You want a drink? Uh, sure, what do you have? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Um, I'll just take some wine for now. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Of course. Well. Let's hang out till morning. Alright. I think it's well past time for us to go meet this man and help him with the problem. Excuse me, sir. Hi. So... I'm telling you, I heard it, howling. Okay, Those werewolf whatever. things are true. All right, look for Medesi. Beautiful baubles and Genuine Balmer gems blood elixir for sale. Here. Live for thousands of years. See into other... Okay, lad. Ready to make some coin? Yes, I believe I'm ready. Good. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Everyone, everyone. Gather round. I have something amazing morning. to show you that demands your attention. You need to hear this. Gather round, all. You know, wait another minute. He still has pretty good view. This way, everyone. All Over meat here. guaranteed, clean and free from rock joints. This way, everyone. Over here. Well, girl, gonna make this difficult. Wait. You need to I don't hear have a key this. for this. Need Come something? On, what is it this time? Patience, Branche. Maybe this is the rare opportunity. Might be over here. I wouldn't want you to get left out. That's what. The... the problem is your disrespect for the laws of this land. It's time to face the Yard's justice. All right, it's we're all good. We're all good. Smart man. Now. Come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods. Well, let's see if we can still find this guy and see if he's still willing to help us out. That was just bad luck. Yes? Protect yourself right. Buy armor from Relka. Hmm? Hmm. I guess I expected too much. I didn't think you... Can't say I'm surprised with the way things have been going around here. What do you mean? What's been going on? Nah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. Well, even though that was a bad showing on my part, I still think I can handle it. All right then, let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Rifton, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you really got what it takes. Hmm? All right, I'll entertain you a bit more. Go on. Um, how uh, do I find this Ratway? If I have to hold your hand through everything, maybe you aren't cut out for this kind of work. It's under your feet, lad. Just follow the smell. All right, I find it from here. Come back when you grow a backbone. Relka, have you had anyone come by and try uh, to If it's underneath the city, I mean, guess we need to get below where the canal is. Oh, great, there's a staircase. Hmm. Let's hear it. Maybe it's this way.
be prepared. Who knows what goes on down here? Sound of that. I don't know, Drop. They'd skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. <laughs> Look, we don't have to do this. I'll tear you to pieces. Not quite good enough, are you? <laughs> If I be as happy as I am getting better with a axe. Am I across? Am I missing something? Let's see if there's like a lever or something. I don't see anything in here. I just have to jump down. I did not appreciate that. Seems like people live down here. Stop, do you? Hmm. Let's keep going. Everything you start looking where I step, it's starting to get scary. This is certainly not inviting. He's telling no one's head. Thank God. Um, hello? Hey, calm down. We don't have to do this. We just want to make things so much harder. This. Hmm. I'll take it with me. I'm always down for a nice book. There's the bridge. Perfect. Now we have an easy way out. This way. Oh, where we came from. I'm supposed to be. Give it up, Renyo. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. Um, excuse me? We've all heard that one before. Well, man. well. Quit kidding Color yourself. me impressed, lad. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Well, I won't want to say that it's easy, but it was pretty easy. Reliable and headstrong? You're turning out to be quite the prize, so... Now that I've whetted your appetite with our little scheme at the market, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? Who are they and what they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Sounds good to me, but you didn't tell me who they were. Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. What did you want me to do? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. 
What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Bad for business. Do I get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. So you got any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the B and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Okay, what about Percy? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. I think I can do that. I guess what's left is Helga. What do I do with that? Helga is a devout follower of Debella and dotes over the statue to the divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage and she'll cave. All right. I'll make sure it gets done. I'll be here when you're done. You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. Guess we gotta go the way we came. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why they chose to live down here. Not the greatest. Guess let's go to the Bee and the Barb, or whatever the place is called, and see if we can get Kiravas first. Protect Jewelry right. with legend. Yes. Tony and craftsmanship. All meat, Garen. Good afternoon. Uh, Alan? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Uh, how did you exactly meet Kirava? I met her when I wandered into Riften a few years ago. Been smitten with her ever since. In fact, mm -hmm. I'm thinking of asking her to marry me. In Black Marsh, tradition dictates we present a potential mate a unique wedding ring to represent our future bond. I already have the gold band, but all I need are three flawless amethysts to complete the setting. Uh, I keep an eye out if you want. I was hoping you'd offer. I didn't think it was my place to ask such a favor of you. I thank you. So... Sorry to bother you about Kirava, but you might want to talk some sense into her if you're smart. With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Help me convince her to pay, because I don't want to make this any harder than it needs to be. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Thank you. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Kirava? Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. Actually, I was hoping if you could show me some coin with that debt you owe. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. Maybe I should just go visit that family farm of yours. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Then give me the money. Now be on my way. We'll forget all about it. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Thank you. Yeah, what's your problem? So I guess let's go to the bunkhouse and see if we can get Helga. There is a special today on everything. You must try it. Hmm. Uh, good morning. We can. Uh, excuse me. Please don't take the statue. It's the only thing of value I have left. Well, I have a message from Brynjolf. You. You have my statue. What are you going to do with it? Do I need to drop this statue down a well somewhere? Smash it? Anything like that? Not Lady Debella. No, please. I can't lose her. 
I get the message. Here, take your gold. I hope you choke on it. Thank you for making this a lot easier than it needs to be. All right. I'm not quite sure where this Bercy is, but I'm sure he runs a shop somewhere. All meats guaranteed. Yes. Free from rock joint. Well, it seems to be some shops underneath. Maybe they're down there. Looking here. Why take a chance? Ah, come in, come in. Welcome to Coraland's House of Garments. We sell only the finest silk sleeves and surcoats. Um, sorry to bother you. I seem to have wandered into the wrong place. But if I ever am in need of clothes, I will certainly come back. Let's keep looking. It's locked. I don't think I'll be there. This one's locked too. Check here. Kind of busy, but if you need any potions or ingredients, let me know. Um, I think I'm good for now. I don't think this is it either. Well, not many places left. I don't think it's gonna be this one. Head back up top. Yes? Seems like someone's home, so it can't be that one. It's here. Hmm. Ooh. Um, hello there. I can't believe you're doing this. Stop! Just pay them, Bercy. Oh no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? Yes. Lucky for you, the urn was able to withstand itself. But I have a message that could get a lot worse. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look. I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> Here, take it. Glad we could come to an understanding. Have a wonderful day. What have I become? Have I really resorted to becoming a hired muscle willing to strong arm people? That's what I imagined my life would become. Legendary Argonian. Protect yourself right. Whatever, let's just get back. Huh? So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Well, here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Thank you. So, what's next? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. If there's more gold where that came from and it's a steady flow, I'm in. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Before we go, I do have to ask something. What's on your mind? There is word all around town this outfit of yours. Not doing very well. 
this true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? <coughs> Lead the way. Interesting. Wouldn't have thought about that. Amazing how big this is. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? You make yourself absolutely clear. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So how do I expect we get a cut of the spoils? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. So tell me about this job, this Golden Glow. Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart mouth wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. What's the catch? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Who cares? For the Thieves Guild, are we supposed to be like this? That's not how things work around here. The Guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. So what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive. But if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The Guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. So, how do I destroy the beehives? They're built like small fortresses to resist the weather, but their one weakness is flame. Besides, nothing tells the people of Ripton we mean business better than a huge column of smoke. Why not just level the entire estate? I'll give you one good reason. Maven Blackbriar. Burn all the hives, and she'd have to import honey for Blackbriar metering, which would cut into her profits. So this Maven Blackbriar is the influential client you spoke of? We had an arrangement with Maven. We kept an eye on Golden Glow Estate to make sure the honey kept flowing. If the workers had a dispute, we'd rough them up. If competitors tried to buy honey from Arangoth, we'd steal the shipments. In return, 
Maven allowed us to extort Aranga and bring in a huge payout. So how dangerous is it to exactly cross her? Because she doesn't sound like someone we want to mess with. Let me put it to you this way. Nothing happens in Riften without Maven's consent. One word from her, and you could spend the rest of the fourth era in prison. Okay, I, I think I get the point. You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. I think I can handle myself. I guess let's go get that equipment. Bring your fight. Let me guess. He just plucked you off the street and dropped you into the thick of things without telling you which way is up. Am I right? Uh, yeah, he did. Uh, are you Vex? Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly clear. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Hey, take it easy. I'm not here to replace you or steal any of your work. I'm here to make things easier. Easy, huh? So, should I just hand you purses of coin, or are you going to work to earn your keep? Let me give you a small bit of advice. Nothing in this line of work is easy. If it was, every drag in the rat way would be robbing Rift and Blind. If something's being handed to you on a silver platter, then there's a catch. Steal the platter instead. You get it? I'll keep that in mind. Then we understand each other. Good. Now, it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. What sort of business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Do you have any idea why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. But what can we do to fix it? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? No, not at all. So I heard you ran into trouble at Golden Glow. I was hoping you could fill me in. <laughs> yeah, I did. That wood elf's wit. He's a lot smarter than I expected. Can you believe that Fetcher had more than tripled the guard? There must have been eight of them in there. It was like he was daring us to come and get him. Do you have any tips for me, then? Well, there's an old sewer tunnel that dumps into the lake on the northwest side of the island. That's how I slipped in there. Should still be unguarded. Okay. Uh, I think we'll be heading out now. Come on, take another job so we can both make some money. I'd rather prove myself first with this first job. Um, excuse me? All eyes are on you, lad. Don't disappoint So you're the new us. recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. I think I'm understanding what you're trying to get across. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, people are rough around here. You know, it's tuck in here and change clothes. Actually, now that I think about it, oh, we don't want to be running around Riften in these guild clothing. We should probably wait closer to time. Before we go, we need to drop off or sell some of the stuff that we have on us. We don't want to make us any heavier for this job.
It's nighttime. That's wonderful. Excuse me. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? Um. Well, I was gonna see if you wanted to buy anything, but it seems like you're about to close up. If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. I will. Guess we'll have to rest up in the end. Got the coin? You've come to the right place. Pull up a seat. Oh, it's you again. What in blazes do you want? Hey, I just came to rent a room, if that's okay with you. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Thank you, I'll appreciate that. I'll Sorry, let you I'm by. afraid I can't help you much right now. I'm currently in mourning. <clears throat> hmm? Good evening. Yeah, what's your problem? Hmm, there's a bunch of Argonians around here. Um, is this one mine? Take that as a yes. No. Uh, I think I can probably find it on my own. Now this one seems disturbed as well. Maybe it's this one? Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Rest up so I have a long day tomorrow.